Uh, I would like to take this opportunity to categorically say that Seguru uh, Tao for ED. You know, I've since endorsed uh, President Munangagwa in 2019. After I've successfully contested as one of the independent candidates, then I saw it fit that what is now required is not divisions, but it's unity. So it's unity of purpose. So this time I've paved the way. You know, I've since rejoined the ANUPF, a political party with our liberation war history. So I'm endorsing. President ED Mnangagwa. So it's a good tower for ED. Hashtag, it's a good tower for ED. Yeah, look at uh, what President Mnangagwa has managed to do. You know, since our independence, this second republic, he had managed to turn around, you know, ED works, you know, even the infrastructure, the, the, the roads, you name it. A lot of things have improved. So I know for sure if he's given another term, I think the country will not be the same. So that's why I, I, I had 2019 endorsed him. And I've rejoined Zanopia for one purpose, that at least we speak with one voice, you know, for the first time. You know, it's not that I scored low, you know, in every competition, even when Manchester is playing Liverpool, even with the one score margin, you are still a, a loser. So there was only one person who became victorious, who was President Munangagwa. Even if I had uh, millions of votes, still if I didn't make it, but what we are simply saying is, we have to support, you know, the cause of President Munangagwa. It's not that uh, I scored law. I scored what was constituted to my, I mean, to my people. So I didn't do bad, you know. So we're really saying uh, we should at least now start to speak with one voice as divisions. The message is simple, you know. Uh, whenever there's a contestation, there are always winners and losers. It's not that uh, what we wish for is always like that. It's like a football game. You get different results, but doesn't mean the team is bad. So who doesn't win this one? Yeah, next time, better luck to them. So I say we should do, speak with one voice, no violence, and uh, send a correct signal to the outside world. So there's no need for violence, there's no need for anything. We just need to exercise our constitutional right. And then we vote for the people that we want. If a, if a party is, is successful, so let it be, and let's support that. So do you have a position in the ZAMPF or maybe you are a MP or something where you are just endorsing the president? <laughs> you know, I was a former independent president. So, you know, I remain a president, but not a, a ruling president. You know, in politics, when let's say when you are an ambassador, you are always remaining an ambassador. So I don't constitute in any parliamentary position. I'm not contesting in any council. Already, you know, I've uh, been on the top job which I was vying for. So on my rejoining ZANU-PF, we used to work together with President Mnangagwa. So you'll be campaigning for President Emerson Mnangagwa? Yeah, yeah, I, wa I was always, and uh, it should be the always case. So we'll be campaigning for ZANU-PF together, also for the President E.D. Mnangagwa. You were campaigning for President in 2018, or you started after, after the, the election? No, no, no. I'm simply saying since my return to ZANU-PF, it has been always a cause that I went back to ZANU-PF to support uh, the winning candidate. So I've been doing so since my rejoining of ZANU-PF. If you check, ZANU-PF is a political party with the history uh, of our liberation struggle. People have been seeing all these parties, you know, mushrooming. That's why myself, I didn't come in in 2018 as a political party, but I was there as the only independent. The reason that no political party was formulated because I was seeing the unauthentication of other political parties. There is all divisions happening in them. So I know ZANPF has been a party which has uh, been there and it has been consistent on its policies. Uh, save for these other parties who are coming up, you know, with some political alternatives which does not work, which is even causing the problems. Like what you see, the problems that we have right now is through all these so-called oppositions, because they speak ill of our own people. If you lose, you know, I'll give an example, uh, myself being a musician, I have never, you know, dissed Thomas Mavumo because he's singing the same mu music with me. Even in America, if you see Trump and Biden, they all contest. It's only here where the opposition try to diss each other. We are all Zimbabweans. So whoever wins, he should be victorious. That's all. So we are simply saying uh, the, the, the party to prevail with all confidence is NPF because it has done a lot for its people. Let's vote for the Second Republic. Let's vote for our President Idi Munangagwa. Let's vote for our own independence and sovereignty. Let's vote to protect our legacy. So we say let's vote for ZANU-PF. 
not for Western influenced uh, opposition, so called oppositions. So I said to Zimbabweans, uh, let's go and vote, you know, and uh, exercise our democratic right. And uh, I wish ZANPF and President Nangagwa in advance. Sorry, sorry to interject. You have said that let's not, not vote for the Western linked opposition parties. Do you have proof or do you have any opposition political party that you know? No, it's there. It's there. You know, it's there. You know, we don't want name calling. It's there. It's, it's, it's on black and white. You know, even you know, all these sanctions are even, uh, you know, exacerbated by our own people. Who says go and punish our own brothers so that at least they will gain power. So we don't want that system. You know, it should be a level play field. No sanctions, no nothing. You see what's happening with the economy. It's economic sabotage. So we are saying there are people who are trying to, to reverse, you know, the gains of our, of our people by now being influenced to say regime change. There's no regime here. It's Zimbabweans for Zimbabweans. So the so-called parties that are working closely with the opposition, I mean the Western powers, those are the ones which I'm talking about. That they are being influenced to, to effect what they call so-called regime change.